Hi, I'm Vincent with Pacone Real Estate, and I'm here with Juanita Tice Colino, contemporary abstract artist. Mm -hmm. We're here at your gallery mm -hmm. in Newmarket. Mm -hmm. Where is all your art? It's all inside. It's all inside. Why, why is it not in the gallery? <sighs> I'm really my own worst enemy at marketing myself. I've, I've been told by friends and family that I need to get it in, it, get it out there in the gallery. And I'm not very good at social media. And How many pieces do you think are inside? There's about uh, 60. 60. If you want to come and take a look? We, I will, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Which one's your favorite? I really like the Swan and the Railway. Um, and uh, I like um, Magical Woodlands. Um, I like Metamorphosis. Is, I, I don't have any particular... It must be piece. hard. It must be hard to no, pick a I favorite. Don't, I don't really. Not really. Because every piece is a part of me. So it's like picking apart myself, and that's not what I want to do. Okay. So how long have you been painting for? Um, I've been painting off and on all my life, pretty well, since I, was, I got some awards when I was in elementary school and moved on high school. Dropped it for a long time, went to my writing, because I love to write. Came back to it, and it's my passion, and that's it. When, when, did you come, when did you come back to it? Uh, probably, I would say, about 2012. And, to come back to it again. and how often do you paint? I paint whenever I get the inclination. It's the brush that inspires me. Sometimes I paint twice a week. Sometimes uh, three times a week. Sometimes it's once every three weeks. Depending on how Depending you're on, feeling. Yeah, yeah. How the brush is feeling. The, how the brush is feeling. That's my inspiration is the brush. My hand. Yeah. Yeah. You talked a lot about your daughter, how she inspires you as well. Yeah. Well, she has her master's in environmental studies, so she's very connected and I've, I've done a few like the Swan and the Oil Week and Oil Spill and you know the different types of um, things that have given me that focus where I want to show a little bit on the political dark side because if we don't have our environment if we don't look after Earth, Mother Earth, what is that? Yeah, no of course we don't have much, that's Not for much. sure. You can have your health but what are you going to do, sit on a granite rock? <laughs> that's right, that's, right. that's yeah, it's hard to argue with that, right? <laughs> Um, I, I feel like, um, like there, there's inevitably a little bit of a political message in art if the artist so chooses. What do you think about that? Do you, do you find that a lot of your art is political or just the oil stuff? No, a lot of it is. I, I think a great deal of it is. You know, it's the contemporary abstract, the stroke. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that is? Why do you think it's political? Uh, well, I have a little dark side in my character over the years, you know, it's, maybe it's a little Irish, a little thin. Yeah, it just uh, comes through now and again, peeps out, and, and then the brush takes over. And, yeah, and yeah. it's a it's a nice way to get the message out. Yeah, it is. It's not too obnoxious or over the top, and, you know, hopefully people will enjoy my art. And, yeah, and then resonate yeah. with the message, maybe. That's right. And they uh, made a big deal about that recently, that they've discovered that, so it just gave me the inspiration to to do that. I, I get inspired by things that I read in the paper and people that I talk to. <laughs> and well, this Forbidden Forest. And this one over here. Are, are Secret Shadows. This is my... I've done a little bit of a, a shift as Sadie will tell me. My art... my brush is my inspiration. I'm... Uh, so whatever I, I, I get into it's it's because of the inspire inspired brush. You do the, uh, with all the little brushes in one spot and a little paint on another spot and everything all strategically lined up. I take the TV stand, I put newspaper on top of it and I take it wherever I want and I paint. Good. That's it. This is um, one of the chaps on Main Street wanted to buy that but it's up for 1500 and I didn't want to go his price. I'm kind of set my way. Um, twist. This one's amazing too. Touch it, it's yeah, heavy. The slate, right? Yeah, it's the um, autumn twist. Yeah, but it's done dimensional, like it's. Yeah. I have several layers, and I. So then, this, this one. one is um, the missing caribou. So what I've done is ship shifting, sh sh like it's shifted over here because yeah. um, you were having a lot of problem with caribou. Now I don't know if you're aware so of that. A certain place, yeah. Yeah. It's ravenous journey because it's the ravens coming down, but they're coming to pick the cherries. I don't right. know if you can see yeah, that. Yeah, I do now. Wow. That's the Emerald Isle because uh, my origins are actually Irish. Okay. And um, so that's in respect for my mother. And that's this, this beautiful. Thank you. And this one is uh, solitude. 
I, I like uh, my sanctuary. I find them. Um, I like people, but I like to be on my own too. So. Mm -hmm. And this one's Autumn Retreat. I left, and then Booster. My husband is Portuguese, so I did that with, for him. These are a set. This is um, frozen cherries and winter berries. They're sold as a set. And then this one is one in the Oil Rig. Yeah. You said your own price is Yeah, of course. Rig. What's that one? I think this one is the Winter Storm with our. I'd like to frame this in a black frame, but I haven't had a chance to do it yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Uh, the Great Outdoors. This one here. I really I, like I really like this one too. Do you? Uh, well, this one is Fairy Lake, okay. New Market. This one is uh, teleportation. I'm spiritual. I don't. Uh, I was raised Roman Catholic, but I actually believe that there's more than what meets the eye here. There's just, you know, so we we have to be very open in our concept of Absolutely. you know. There's so much out there. You can't think in a pigeonhole. You've got to look yeah, outside absolutely. the box about everything. Sure. So I actually did this with the teleportation, and then we have the crucifix, the just or the star it could yeah, be the yeah, star, yeah, yeah. taking you through the light to the other side. Yeah. And yeah. Um, bullish co-workers. And the reason why I did this one was because uh, I only have I'm selling it for 150 dollars, but it's just a matter of principle. There's a lot of people out there who are everyday bullied but afraid to say something. And it could be man or woman, anybody, but they're really afraid to open their mouth because they want, don't want to be marked. Right. Because once you're marked, you know that it's not the same. So this was, this is in honor of all the boys and girls out there in university school, at starting their careers, whatever the case may be. Um. And then this is Nomad Woman Carrying Babe, abstract. So I try to to get everybody um, involved with my pictures, all kinds of race, religion, creed. This is Ashes. It's one of my daughter's favorite. This is the view. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I actually really, really like this. Some people they say, "Oh my God, Juanita, you know, it looks like it's, you know." But the, to me, in, as an in abstract contemporary artist, to me, it, it's, you know, it's, it's my little, <laughs> yeah, no, my it. little dark side there. Sure. <laughs> and so that's. Uh, Uh, some kind of little spot where you can kind of hide out and nobody knows where you are and you like the hobbit like yeah. who's in there yeah. well, I'm, I hope you like my art I love it thank you but I, I definitely need exposure I haven't done much about that no that's that's, that's okay. why Sadie said to me it's time when we're here on your on your lovely porch here in Newmarket how long have you been in Newmarket um, moved here in 1997. Okay. From uh, Toronto. From Toronto. Another from Toronto. another Toronto to another Torontonian community. moving to Newmarket. Yeah, yeah, love the community. Love it. Love the people. What made you What made you come up? Well, and this sounds very very cliche, but there's an old saying: you can take the girl of the country, but not the country of the girl. And I was raised in the country, so when I was a kid, I used to run through the forest next to our house. And, uh, you know, I was either writing or I was painting, and that's always carried through all my life, that feeling of, that's why I have all my trees around me. I like to have that sanctuary. Yeah. I, I, I did a painting called Sanctuary, actually. Just, yeah. yeah. Um, what kind of an impact do you think growing up in the country has on you as an artist? Uh, probably very politically. It has everything to do with it, right? Because you have that feeling of, uh, of having openness. Right, and you're not, you know, uh, confined. Yeah, the look freedom. Outside, the freedom is look outside the box. And that's what abstract is, right? It's at the outside the box, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell me you're about... You're not confined to little lines, little square lines. Yeah, little, yeah, let the brush lead. Let the brush lead, yeah. Yeah, so, so you describe yourself as, a, as an abstract contemporary. Tell me a bit about what, tell, tell me a bit about what that actually is, what you think that is. Um, to me, it just means that you're not just strictly con 
a contemporary, you're not just strictly artist in, in an abstract sense, you can overlap. So lately I've been doing a kind of a, a little bit of a, I would call it shifting. Okay. From my original abstract, which is a little different with the lines, and now I seem to be shifting more into a natural, uh, like an environmental landscape, but it's still abstract. <clears throat> it's not done from a photograph. I don't paint from photographs. I don't paint from um, uh, being out in the middle of the wilderness with the big canvas in front of me and the little pink oils all around me and everything. I, I just uh, paint on a TV stand. With yeah, you were yeah, you were telling yeah. me. So no studio. No so tell studio. me about tell no me about studio. the about the actual production of it. Uh, uh, how does how does it come I together? Take, I take the TV stand. I've had it for years, and I put it down. Put some newspaper on top of it. Either use slate or I, I might use some other kind of medium or canvas, whatever I feel comfortable. With. And I think, and then uh, it comes to me wherever I am surrounding, and then I can move it around. It's close, up close and personal. It's not like on a canvas in front of you in a set spot. I like to have the movement where I'm really up close, and I can move with the curves with my hands, with the layers, move it around, turn the TV stand around. It works for me. It's just very easy for me, easy peasy. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. that it's, it, as you said, it works for you, and I think that that's, that's probably really important as an artist. Um, finding what works for you, so you know, not being, and, and maybe that's a bit about the abstract contemporary style as well as the the freedom to do what makes you, you know, what you want to do, right? I don't like to be confined in anything. So if I feel that my paintings are are open, free, that gives me a, a tremendous excitement. I can finish a painting in an, in an hour and a half, and one night I don't only wow. go back. Wow! Yeah, well, once it comes in, to me once I'm into it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the longest you've worked on a painting? A couple of days. Oh, they usually come in and out. They not not months and weeks. Once you feel that inspiration. Once I have the inspiration, and it could come any time. I like the morning light. I prefer the morning light. Very good. Uh, um, what do you like most about living in Newmarket? I I love the the people. It's great. I mean, it's you've got a little city, a little country. A lot of people commute, but. It's the country too, you know. It's just that nice feeling, and, and you still got that city vibe. It's very uh, becoming very cosmopolitan. Newmarket's laid out very well strategically. I love it. Beautiful yeah, and, town. And and so you've been here a little while. What have you seen change since uh, you've been here? Well, I've seen a lot of diversification with the population. When we first came up here, it was just you know simply mostly you you would just see a lot of uh, you know conservative white Anglo-Saxon. Yeah. And now that it's becoming very diversified, it reminds me a lot of Toronto. But it's more on the country -nisk. Yeah, you get a little bit of the best of both worlds, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's nice. I like it. I like the feeling, the you know, the having the, you know, that blend, that melting pot. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice, but it's done subtly. Yes. Does yes. that make sense? Yes. No, I think it absolutely does. It's yeah. one of the reasons we really like yeah. being around here too. It's nice. Um, we love the diversity as well, but um, I think that for, for us, what, what we've experienced, I'd love to know what you think, is like there really is a strong sense of community here, though, because yeah. it's not, it hasn't exploded, it's not overbearing. No, it's not, and it's, there isn't that arrogance, there isn't that push, there isn't that, you know, this is what you have to do, it's political correct. Everything is done with ease. It's nice, it's a feeling of, like, you feel like you're part of the community and you can talk, um, you know, openly and uh, you're not criticized. You know, every time you open your mouth, you treat it with respect. Yeah, yeah. It makes it a great, maybe a great place to be an artist. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a beautiful place to be an, uh, an artist. I'm out here on my, on my porch. A lot of my inspiration is just sitting here. When it's storming, pouring rain, storming, and I'm out here because I'm covered, and it's nice. It gives me that feeling of uh, respect, right? Yeah. 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 Where's your favorite place to paint in Newmarket, other than here? Um... Well, that's a very, very good question. I, I normally do most of my painting around my home, because I'm comfortable here. Mm -hmm. um, I have done paintings uh, where I've taken my TV stand in the car and set up on a beach or, you know, I've even been down at Stellar Lanes where the bowling alley is. Mm -hmm. I, did, mm -hmm. I did one there. And, uh, yeah, so, but I like to just have a few more quiet here because it's it's... When I paint, I usually paint very quickly. Mm -hmm. And by the time I get in the car, I set up the TV stand, sit down, then I'm ready for a coffee and to come back home. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So I want to just right. kind of, you know, yeah. if, it, if it hits me, I just come out here and away you go. You yeah. know? Or upstairs, I'm upstairs and do it upstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, do you do um, 
commissioned work as well, or, or is it just whatever inspires you? Well, I've been I've been approached about commission work. I haven't done that as yet. Okay. If somebody wanted to do commission work, what, how would they get a hold of you? Uh, they could just give me a call and, or uh, go through the site. 647-467-7116. Um, uh, and what's the website? Uh, Juanita uh, K. Polino at hotmail.com. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, yeah. Or the Wix. You can see it on Wix. If you go into Wix, you just pull it up the profile. Very easy to find. Okay. And there's, um, I think there's a sign right there, too, that helps me along with it right in front of there that, uh, you know, helps me. I guess I can't remember the whole thing. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. You know what I find? If people are looking for, for art, they'll find it, you know? Thank you. And art, I mean, it, it finds them and they find it, so. Yeah. It's yeah. been an absolute pleasure talking oh, to you. Thank you. I thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. you.